time between these teams. And the Cy Hawk rivalry is underway as Iowa controls the tip. Here is Clark leading the nation in points per game, trying to do so for a third time in her career. Clark, a three is good. We'll go against O'Grady. You see just a little bit of a screen barely, and Dew is right there, but Caitlin Moore, she has great hands, great feet when she catches the ball inside, and if you get stuck behind her, forget it. You're gonna either have to foul her or she's gonna be able to score on you. Here's Clark around the screen. And guarded closely by Nymir Dew. Inside the hook, the sidestepping long three won't go for Kelsey Jones. And here comes Iowa. Clark, a sidestepping three of her own. Back iron, no. Long board Davis, right back to Clark. Clark on the attack, can't scoop it in. The follow is good from Goodman. Sister Ashley starred here at Iowa State. Other sister, Aubrey, played here before transferring. Clark, tiptoes baseline. Looking for help. Out to Martin. Here's Gabby Marshall. Has not gotten off to a great start shooting, but we know it can be a serious threat from three. Clark finds a lot of space and connects from down. Here's Crooks. Back iron, no. One of the things that Bill Fennelly told us is he's going to encourage Audie Crooks to shoot some more threes tonight. Haven't seen it to begin her collegiate career. Knowing that Iowa will play off of her. Here's Davis. Nice little pocket pass. Goodman left Brooks. Can't quite bank it in. And Davis comes back for the rebound. Here's Clark. Into the paint. The kick out. Davis a good look. Off the mark. Brooks the fire. No. It's one of those Iowa State, like Iowa, takes a lot of threes. Yeah, they, they don't mind pushing pace, getting up and down the floor, and not only taking threes, but taking them early in the possession. Here's Martin who will fire. In and out. And Caitlin Clark just coming off of the screen. You, you cannot just leave do the there. entire game. Makes her unguardable. Here's Stolke by Do off the handoff, pushed it up short. Sydney a falter in off the bench for Iowa. Clark, back iron, no. A falter keeps it alive. Out of bounds off It just becomes about team defense and doing what you can to make things difficult. Iowa's missed five straight shots. Here's Martin trying the drive, spinning, fading and hitting. Over Iowa State. 4.30 to go in this first quarter. Here's Clark. And that's going to be a foul going the other way. Triple triples in this first 16 points away from 3,000 on a march towards history in Ames, Iowa. A young woman, 6'2", has a great stroke from both outside and then good post moves on the interior. Clark in the mid-range, sure, plus the foul. Open looks and you have to credit her teammates as well for that. That time O'Grady sets a nice screen that gives her a little bit of spin to flow on her shot. Eight points in this first thus far for Clark. Back to Bristow, a little too strong on her three. Addison O'Grady into the game for Iowa, comes up with a rebound, here is Clark. Clark, the hesitation, the dish, Gabby Marshall. Can't hit, long rebound. So she'd be the fastest to 3,000 since the turn of the century. Here's Clark, little leaner, he's short. Clark shovels, Davis can't hit for Iowa. Bellinger bounces, taken away by a falter. Sydney a falter up ahead. Davis flags it down and lays it in. Overpower her defense, and then the other way, Molly Davis gets the open look, but the tough Jr. finish. Junior, who transferred from Iowa State. Mark trying to get on the same page as Fearbot. Here's Martin. Martin on the drive, stops, dishes. Here, Box, still with plenty of time to operate. Back to Clark. Her three is good. Passed by Clark. That three short from Bellinger. The rebound 
Corralled by Fierbach. Here's Clark dashing ahead. Let's see, Clark thought about pulling. No time for a two for one, so he's going to back it out with about a 10 second difference game at shot clock. Here's Clark. Clark gives it up. Martin's three. She got it. Quarter in the books, and Caitlin Clark's march to 3,000 well on its way. 12 points in the own. A little too strong on her three. Clark the rebound, 10 points away from 3,000. She put up 12 in the first quarter. How about this three? Short. Slightly bigger. But she can power the ball and, and go over you, or that time, just nice little touch. Freshman tied for eighth in the nation in points per game amongst freshmen. Fierbach on the give and go, reverses it up and off. State, the 22-21 lead. Clark didn't take the three, Martin will, and hit. Yeah, I really like what she brings on both ends of the floor. She is a tall, long defender who can defend out on the perimeter. Clark can't drop Bristow it. Bristow turns, can't hit. Here's Davis, backs it out, bounces to Clark. Clark assessing. Thought about dropping it in. Just keep Goodman. running, keep yeah. running the screens with Goodman. Did she get that shot? Back iron, no. Job by Brown to collect herself, get back on balance and finish. 26-24, Iowa State in front. Clark turns the corner. Yeah. Had an easy layup, but it's not going to count. We talk about Caitlin Clark's decision making. Well, here at the end of the quarter, what do you have? A guard who's defended by a quick player and then a big player on the inside. Caitlin Clark is going to take Kate Martin. Get out of here. Why? Because if you pause right there, she wants Addie Crooks to be the one who has to come out and instead makes the extra look and passes to the corner. Just great decisions all around and orchestrating of the offense. Another foul here. It's this time of year I need snowmen on my telly. Yeah. Oh. Here's Martin. Martin cups it up and off. Rebound Stolke. Kicks it out. Marshall's three. Back iron no. Rebound snared away by a foot. Bellinger, no. Here comes Clark. Dishes off to a falter. Her three won't go. First four picks in next WNBA draft. It's all this Sunday, beginning at noon on ESPN and the ESPN app. Of course, that team who wins the lottery may also win the rights to Caitlin Clark, who gets a breather right now. Is Martin? It's going to be an attack taken there from the freshman Kelsey Jones. And nice job just getting her feet set. And keep in mind, there is no restricted area in women's college basketball the year, this year, except directly Back under in the after side. a brief rest, 10 points away from 3,000. To the second fastest player in D1 history to hit that mark. Only Patricia Hoskins faster. Here is Clark off the screen, fires, and hits. Gets called for the foul. See her under the basket. She can go either way. Which screen do you want to use? And then comes out to the left side again, or the right side. Do is right there. Yeah. She well, guys, as you take a look at that replay of that three-point shot, something that stands out to me about Caitlin Clark's improvement this season, if you can even <laughs> describe that she needs to improve, is her feet. Look at that. Her feet are so quick. The step back. Three. She has, and the crowd loves it. 10 points, eight rebounds for Crooks. She was draining them in practice, had not attempted one in a game up until tonight. Here's Clark off the screen. Clark into the paint. Stolke, extra feed. Marshall did not take it. Six to shoot. A Folter trying to create some space. Two to shoot. Marshall going to have to. Can't knock it down. In seventh grade where she really started to see the value of her size and see it as a strength. Gain confidence in it. Clark nearly banked it in. Stokey will keep it alive for Iowa. Clark turns the corner, met by two, bounces beautifully to Stokey, who gets fouled by Crooks. Really use this. Graduating class of 36. Yeah. At her high school. 
Hey, the NBA's in-season tournament continues Thursday on ESPN with the semifinals between the Pacers and the Bucks. 5 p.m. Eastern on ESPN. Coverage begins with a countdown at 4 Eastern. On Iowa State leading by one. Stolke with a runway. A falter needs help. Back to Stolke. Stolke will fire a three and knock it down. And then to corral it and finish. Beautiful stuff. 12 points, eight rebounds. Stolke, not that time. Back on, forces it up. Can't get it to go. We've seen that a couple times, though, to clear out of the right side for Brown to go to work. Here's Clark into the paint. We bank it in. Stolke got her hands on it. Clark comes away with it. Can't lay it. Brooks left it short. And now the shot clock turned off for a final possession. But you thought number four, Iowa, was going to run away from Iowa State. Sorry, you have a second half to watch. Look for the screen from Stolke, yes, with the drop coverage. Here is Clark. Six seconds left. Will fire. In and out on a three. Rebound controlled by Brown. It's the and first of her career. Nearly a double-double in that first half for Crooks. Time to go to Kevin Connors and Coach Peck for tonight's halftime report. Attempted and made a three. And then, of course, we know Caitlin Clark is going to get her offense, in particular going to the left side when there's drop coverage, no one to help out. Do gets hung up on the screen, just too easy for Caitlin Clark. This time, again, there's no one there to hedge out, help or trap, and still a good contest defensively, but Caitlin Clark is going to make that. You take a look at her shot chart, and she didn't make one from the right side of the floor, but she certainly likes going to that left side. The 17 field goal attempts. The frames, you're talking about tops in the nation for the percentage of points that come from freshmen for Iowa State. Meanwhile, Iowa's towards the bottom of the nation. You see right there, Clark on the drive, bodies in and gets fouled. Caitlin Clark away from 3,000. When she does score that 3,000th point, she will be the first player in women's D1 history to have 3,000 career points, 750 assists, 750 rebounds. Two. She has not been shy about her shot tonight. Not at all. I'm talking about screens on the perimeter. Crooks set a really good one to free her up. Davis attacks the closeout. Back to Clark. Catch, fire. No. At any point. Crooks, deep position, gets smothered, gets it back, and Kate Martin comes back for the block. Well timed by Martin. Kate Martin is an excellent shot blocker, especially for someone of her size. Clark's jumper is good. Has delivered thus far tonight. Misses the second free throw there. Davis the rebound. And she's up to now. She plays about in three minute stretches, so she can go as hard as she can, doesn't need to pace herself, then she gets the rest. Here's Martin fading away. Can't flip it in as Brown can't finish it. Rebound knocked out to Martin. Here comes Clark. Does it happen here? Clark on the drive, flips it out. Martin loses her footing. Iowa State back in front. Here is Clark. Three away from 3,000. Clark, the leaner, is good. Jones inside, can't lay it in. Jones able to control it, though. Another chance for Iowa State, and it's snatched away by Goodman. Here is Marshall with Clark trailing. History in flight. You bet! Caitlin Clark, 3,000 career points! 1,000 career points. Maybe looking to add to it here. Dumps it down. Goodman. And a whistle. A timeout taken by Iowa. Just the pitch back in transition. Defense closing out on Caitlin Clark. A deep one. We've seen it so many times. And here it gets her over the 3K. Brent and Ann celebrate. Well, Caitlin Clark just became the 15th player in D1 history to reach 3,000 career points. She became the first player in Division I history to have 3,000 career points. 
and at least 750 rebounds. Top of sisters in the country since she entered college. She has a shot at getting to 1,000 assists in her career as well. And you see men's or women's first player ever with that 3,750, 750 mark. The NBA, they're going to want to make sure she doesn't play next yeah, year at right. Iowa. That's right. And a travel in. Stolke trying to fight around. You see on the right side of your screen. Oh, that's a flop. Yeah, it is. In the NBA, Stolke would get fined. <laughs> no meal money for her. <laughs> Here's Marshall into Stolke. Stolke slips inside, can't finish. Got it back, kicks it out. The three from a falter. Back iron, no, and not that about in her game already tonight. Two-point game. Neither team is led by more than six at any point. Clark is up to 24 points. Clark leaning in. Stay out there. Risto rims out on a three. Good box out there from Kate Martin to control for Iowa. Here's a falter. Not picked up. Looking for Clark. Clark, a deep one. She got it. She's got a smooth game. Very smooth. Very smooth. Out to the three-point line. And again, we haven't seen it as much today, but really nice footwork inside. In the against Iowa State. I mean, I guess that's too far away, but what do you do? Because you know that Caitlin Clark can drive by you if you get up too close. There's Stolke handing off to Clark. Yeah, that's what you do. Yeah, right there, do. that's what you do. Trapper. Clark gets tripped. No call. It's the trap and tackle defense. Yeah. <laughs> Kate Martin can't yeah. finish. But maybe she got her fingertips on it. Taylor McCabe into the game, number two for Iowa. As Martin muscles in. Yep. Yeah. Risto, flat footed shot won't go. Caitlin Clark grabs the rebound. Into the corner. McCabe can shoot. Can't hit that one. Stolke, the offensive Four rebound. Is both drafted. They also are expecting to get back Emily Ryan at some point, their point guard, who last year was, or two seasons ago, was first team all Big 12. Clark can't bank it in. Got it back and gets the whistle. We did ask Clark about her interest in the WNBA draft lottery on Sunday, and she said, you know, I wish I wasn't playing at the same time because I, I would be watching. She said, you know, no matter what, when you get drafted, you can't control what you have. And if she doesn't, they'll change the system. <laughs> yeah. As James Harden said, uh, she is a system. Clark, not that time, as all. Brown had it knocked away, trying to get it into Crooks. Here comes Clark, dumping underneath. Goodman traveled. Oh, Sharon Goodman did such a good Told her teammate, don't rush the inbound pass so that the shot clock would end up turned off. How about the atmosphere at Hilton Coliseum? In a three-point game, Clark. Clark, the runner, hooks off, rebound. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Phillips 66, proud sponsor of Big 12 basketball. We have experienced history already tonight in Ames. Here was point number 3,000 for Caitlin Clark. 29 feet, and it just looked like she was dancing out there. How easy does she make deep points this evening? A three-point Iowa lead as we begin the fourth quarter. Caitlin Clark has never won in this building, something she brought up right away to us today. Great backdoor look. Jackson bounces in. Crooks stood up nicely by Goodman. The next evolution of Crooks' game is to be comfortable going over her middle shoulder, whatever side she's on. Oh, Clark, the beautiful pair. There you go. Do you know what a backdoor pass is? I that do. was a little bit easier. Look at that beautiful pass to the cutting Martin. And then we talked about dancing. There it is. Three off the mark, and Gabby Marshall the rebound. Marshall has not hit a shot tonight, 0 for 3 from the floor. At times, I've actually felt, I know Lisa Bluter feels her team needs to create more shots for her, but it seems like Marshall's been a, a, a tad hesitant at times as well. 
but we know she can heat up and at some point this season likely will. There's a serious threat from three a season. Ago. Drives it left, can't lay it in. Rebound tip to Davis. Molly Davis. Nobody picked her up. Here's Marshall. Clark, her 41st career 30 point game. Dishes to Davis. Into the corner. Marshall attacks the closeout. Goodman spins out of it. Five to shoot. Martin may have to. Martin's runner. Rims off. She's done a good job with the timeouts when those runs have come from Iowa. Maddie Brown, her second career double double. Clark fires a bullet. That's three. Still can't lay it in. Stolke did a nice job hanging on the interior defensively. Clark, 31 points, seven rebounds, three assists. She is 10 of 27 from the floor. Scored every Iowa point in the third. Clark surges inside and finishes. To be able to get her shot off, she really, we've seen her attack the glass at times as well. The freshman forward, Bristow. A falter did not get it to Clark, who wanted it. Instead, it's Marshall deep on the wing. Marshall get it back to Clark. Couldn't handle it in Iowa State. Marshall, a good look. Can't hit. Scoreless tonight. Martin out of it. Clark wants it. Can't get it. Eight. State run that ends there. Looks for teammates, they're just struggling a bit to score from the perimeter. Clark wants it. 8 0 Iowa State run. A falter drives it. Can't lay it in, but gets the whistle. A falter hits the first free throw. I have a feeling Lisa Bluter is going to feel good. Yes. A falter hits. Fire, no hit for Bristow. Rebound banged into the arms of Clark. Clark in transition, always dangerous. Finds the cutter, it's Martin who lays it in. Clark races in, dumps underneath. Beautifully done, and Martin lays it home. Clark at Martin. Kayla Clark always raves about the winning plays. Kate Martin makes, and she comes up with another one here. And Iowa State called for the foul. Caitlin Clark is always going to demand attention, and there, three defenders looking straight at her. Help has to come. 25-5-5, and 46 games. Leads all active players by a mile. Clark, the hesitation, the kick. Marshall can't hit. Now 0 of 5. Kate Martin just undersized here. Ball goes up. Toughness shining through as she corrals the board. Neither team has shot it well tonight. Both 35% are under. Clark into the paint, spins around and lays it home. Her teammates involved and then taking it herself. And she's made terrific passes when her teammates have been open. And then here, just back to the basket, navigating the paint, scoring inside as well. This happened on the defensive end right after Gabby Marshall missed the open three. Kate Martin got the foul. Look at Caitlin Clark went right over to Gabby Marshall, got in her face, and I think was saying some encouraging words to her shooter. This is Caitlin Clark's first year as a captain. Yes, she said. The area where she's seen Clark grow most this season in her constant evolution is leadership. Here's Marshall. 140 to go. Iowa has stabilized things here with an 8-1 run. A six-point lead. Still plenty of time for Iowa State. Needing a stop. Clark around the screen will fire. No. Reeve forces it up and off. Clark the rebound her ninth. And the clock is the friend of Iowa. One minute to go. Clark taking her time. Martin dumps it down. Clark into the paint. She tried. Iowa State is going to take a timeout. Yep.
this run for Iowa since falling behind. Two assists and a bucket. Yeah, no surprise that she's the one with the ball in her hands, willing passer always when her teammates are open. Both of these to Kate Martin when she's moving so well without the basketball. And then just seeing her score and her savviness even in the paint there. Reached her 3,000th career point in the third quarter of this game. Martin comes up with a steal. Second straight inbound. Iowa stolen and Martin is fouled on the other end. Including back to back off inbounds after timeouts. Yeah, Kate Martin is just a tough nosed basketball player, a competitor who wants to win. And that time, just effort to jump the route and get the steal. Holly? Well, today at shoot around, they were having this final moment at the end of shoot around talking about pressure is a privilege, reading from Billie Jean King's autobiography. And after they talked about that, it was Kate Martin that spoke up of we can control our attitude tonight and how tough we are and how strong we are. The state needs to try and create a turnover here or foul someone other than Clark who tumbles there. And it's a falter who gets that. And a falter. That presents different factor in that in. Jackson's three won't go. Rebound secured underneath by a falter. For the senior forward, Nymir Du. A falter back to the line. And hits the first. One run of their own. And now, Jones has it deflected. Davis has it. Molly Davis. Flicks it ahead to Marshall. We'll see if Iowa State backs off. It looks like they will. Caitlin Clark's going to get that first win at Hilton Coliseum. The Iowa Hawkeyes survive the Cyclones and Hilton Magic. 60.